Welcome to Forza Friday. As you can see, we've got two great Italian slash American cars for the next two weeks. The Pantera. John, tell us about the Pantera. Yeah, the Di Tommaso Panteras. Uh, great cars. Italian design and uh, American engine and uh, ZF gearbox drivetrain. So very bulletproof and just great looking cars and you can do anything you want with them from a point of, of modification or just keep them stock. And we're going to profile a stock one and a modified one on Forza Friday coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. It's all manual, right? There's no oh, power yes. or anything. All manual. <laughs> it does have power brakes, but you know, they're. How many speed transmission? Five? It's a five. Yeah, and I like this little gate. It's like an old Ferrari. Yes, exactly. It does have the Italian gated shifter, so it's it's pretty good there. All right. Can't get out of the, the rocks it. a little bit here. Yeah, you don't want to. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, how is it to drive? It drives really well, yeah. actually. It does a little bit of uh, you know, darting around because of the fat tires. It doesn't really fit the road. Very well. So yeah. There's a little bit of it, but nothing obviously strange about it. It, it tracks really well, drives well. Okay. Is, uh, Does it get pretty hot here? Not too bad. Not too bad. Considering no. the engine's right back there. It's it's a little unnerving. It's yeah. a little unsettling right there behind your head. But I've done a lot of sound deadening, heat deadening material. I put a lot of that in here, so it's you know it's pretty covered as far as that goes as well. What's your favorite part of owning this car? Myself has been fulfilling that dream that I had. You know, to actually be able to go out in the garage and see it there and then, you know, go drive around and enjoy it and, you know, and share it with other people as well. It's nice to take it to shows and, you know, see people's reactions and I really enjoy that other people like the car as well. Yes, it was a privateer car that raced uh, throughout California, Southern California, actually. Um, the guy that was racing it, I didn't really have any results from it, so I don't really know how it did. Uh, the gentleman that had it passed away and left it to his son, who really didn't have any interest in it. So. And who did they did they race against Ferraris and Lamborghinis at uh, the time? Actually, yes, they raced against the uh, the Porsches. Okay. A lot of the Porsches, uh, the Ferrari Daytonas, Competiciones, and. <laughs> so it, How many were made, you know? What's the total run? 7,260 were made. Yeah, I, I assume a lot of them got crashed. Uh, I'm sure, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What have you done to it? You said you've done some things to it. Well, really minor. I mean, yeah. it, there's like, yeah, I mean, it's almost not even worth mentioning because there's the black stripes on the car. Yep. And then there's the, uh, uh, uh these mirrors. Yep. And uh, this thing on the windshield, the Di Tommaso, that's not original. Oh, the louvers on the back aren't original. The paint, uh, I don't know if I mentioned that already, the paint's not original, but it, it's, the paint's about, 30 years old. I think he painted it right after he got it. Uh, so, yeah. So those so those things don't don't make it very. Uh, yeah, but they're, it's almost not even worth commenting because they're so minute, and you could the, the lines are all the same. I feel like yeah. I'm stepping back into 1972. Yeah. Well, don't say don't say that. Don't say you're going back in time because that's like probably the worst thing I hear about this car all the time. Why is that? They mistake it with a DeLorean. Oh, 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 oh. well, that's yeah. just uh, wrong. Yeah. <laughs> that is just wrong because this is obviously a sexy car, whereas a DeLorean is a cute car. 
Yeah. But no one would mistake it as sexy. At least yeah. I wouldn't. I like Huey Lewis. That's for sure. Yeah. You know, it's fast. I can tell already it's fast. Well, it's just... Yeah. yeah it's... And you, and you, there's a sense of you're right over the front wheels. You're and down you get, low. You're down yeah. low and there's much of a front end on it. No, you really... Uh... What's the farthest you've taken it? Well, we've driven it to Phoenix. We drove it to Phoenix last from year. From Colorado, yeah. From here. Yeah. Was, it, was it fine? It was fine, yeah. yeah. But, uh, on the way back uh, last year, the speedometer cable broke. Just there over, are worse things? Over time, yeah, that was, was no problem getting home, obviously. Speaking just, of uh, uh, speedometer cables, how many miles? It, it's got 75,000 uh, Orig plus original 75,000 baby miles. Yeah, yeah, very, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. It's, it's not been driven hard. And, uh, it's been driven more for enjoyment, you know, and I think uh, some of the other modifications that guys make on them. Take them out on the racetrack and have some fun with it if you want. And these are going up in value now, aren't they? That's from what I've heard yeah. they have, yeah. I mean, uh, you know how much this guy would be worth? It's probably worth around 40 or in the high 30s, is my, is my wild guess. Could be more, this is so original. Well, yeah, they. Absolutely. I mean, I don't know if that's something that's that desirable uh, or not. Um, I kind of like I like what Mark's done on his car, and there's a number of other guys here locally in Colorado that have done things on their cars that uh, really make really make the, a big difference in looks and handling and performance. But you and, know what? There's a saying: um, cars only original ones, right? Yeah, that's or true. new ones. Yeah. <laughs> and once once you once you change it, you've changed it forever. It's hard to bring it back. Yeah. You know, this this seems like it's very drivable. It's much. Yeah. It's much more um, yeah. livable, right? The engine doesn't doesn't like hammer the back of your head. No, it's still you can still talk, and you know, there's no radio, so we do enjoy the, the noise from the engine, and uh, uh, it is. It's a very it's it's very drivable, and I really believe that uh, an important part to, to having a car. Any cars that you want to get out and drive in, that's the whole idea. We, we really pride ourselves on being able to make trips like that to Phoenix. We've had a lot of fun with each other, talking and enjoying father-son time together. 